Money, you can't live with it, can't live without it. Money is super annoying, quite frankly. I think most people would probably share that sentiment, except perhaps like uber rich. Maybe, I don't know. We've been working together on money for about 10 years now, give or take. And I think we kind of have it down pretty well. We work together on the same page. We don't really have fights or arguments about money. So starting out, we went through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, which was basically life-changing. Mostly I would say because it opened up our minds in general to a different way of thinking, as opposed to just the money aspect of it. The money aspect of it was really good but it helped us to think differently in the sense of what we could accomplish, what's possible. Having a more proactive outlook on life as opposed to just reactionary. The way we started out, I was managing the money. David had a full-time day job. I also worked, but I had a little bit more flexibility in my schedule and stuff. We used Dave Ramsey's envelope system. We actually did the whole cash thing for maybe one or two months. We did? Yeah, it was a very, it was a very short amount of time. The whole concept of using cash was Ugh. It's, just it's a hard. pain in the butt. There is something to be said for the discipline of it, but well, it wasn't I mean, realistic for our lifestyle. You, you look at it and it reinforces, oh, you know, I only have a dollar left. Crap. At the same time, it's like coins and... Yeah, the coins ooh. and all that, all that crap was very annoying. So what we did very quickly was we moved into using a couponing book type of thing, a couponing envelope thing. I made these little envelope tally sheets, I guess you could call them, ledger sheets. Uh, that, that fit right inside of the couponing system and we use that for each of our envelopes. And so we would just keep tallies on those little sheets every time we took money out and then we would just write it down we had there was a calculator in it and everything. So it was really easy, it worked really well. We used that for a long time and then I also made up a bunch of spreadsheets in Excel to keep track of all the other stuff, keep track of our monthly budget, the stuff that didn't really need to be in envelopes. That's where we, inside of the sheets we tally what we're saving for, like for a car or for a house or whatever, and then keep tabs on our emergency fund and stuff like that. So it was all inside of that spreadsheet. That's how we started out. However, in 2012, the beginning of 2012, David came home to work full time. So we were both at home. I was kind of stressed out because I had a lot more on my plate as far as the variety of things that I was doing and he was just getting into the swing of working at home full time so it worked out, it felt like it worked out a lot better for him to be able to start taking all the finances. He's also a little bit more of a spreadsheet nerd than I am. I think you've enjoyed it for the most part, right? I like it, yeah I do. It took him a while to get into the swing of things. But I jumped into tax season basically, so that was great. That's I think true. our CPA was like, man this guy's a moron. I had actually started using a system online called Budget Tracker. I actually really liked it a lot. It gave so many options, lots of customization to how I wanted things. So that's what I have been using for a couple years when I turned stuff over to him. He wasn't as big into that, so he experimented with a bunch of different things. I think now, going into 2015, we have our system pretty much nailed down to what we want it to be. Right now we use Wave for our main business accounting, but we also have our personal accounting in there because it can be separated within one account. The business side is very robust. It has invoicing, it has a lot of reporting tools, graphs, and all that stuff, and your clients can even pay through it. He left out the best part, which is that it's free. And it's free. So we also like to keep track of all of our receipts, partly because of the business, partly just because we like to be organized. Well, for a long time now, about five years or so, we have been using a neat scanner to manage all of the receipts. We just scan everything in and it has a system to manage. We really wanted to start making the process simpler. So we have our phone, we just scan the receipt right in, it goes straight to Wave, it's really handy. You can also forward email receipts into Wave, so he has everything that he needs right there to just check it all out at once. And then the other thing that we're that we're using now is something called envelopes. And basically what you do is you just set up all your envelopes and it's essentially a virtual envelope system. Which I guess makes sense with the name. Yeah. <laughs> it does take a little bit to figure out right at first when you're trying to set stuff up, but once you do, there's a lot of hidden functionality. We haven't shared what our basic finance philosophy is. Don't spend money that you don't have. Don't go into debt. Tell your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. <laughs> That's a Dave Ramsey That's thing. The term is a zero-based budget, which basically means spend all your money on paper. At, on paper at the beginning of the month. So that you can tell it where to go in the first place. Yes. Because if you don't tell your money where to go, it tends to go where it feels like going. For the people that are like, well, I have a variable income. We also have a variable income, so we just say, hey, at the end of the month, 
whatever is left over goes here. You put a list of priorities and you just go as far down the list as you have money, basically. What we do is we have our budget worked out and it's basically, it just stays the same every month. We try to plot out the year, essentially, of all the things that we need to do, gifts, all the different insurances, contact exams, healthcare, etc., etc. Plot it all out so that each month you're saving a little bit towards that. And then what we like to do is we like to roll the funds over. So for example, we have a month anniversary category, so we can use it to go on our set date night every month. And a quick aside here, you can also have fun with your budget. You can budget for fun. If it's in the budget, then you don't have to feel bad about the fact that you're spending the money. So it actually frees you up quite a lot oh, yeah. to have the structure. So much. And honestly, that's probably one of the biggest things that has helped us in, in relating with finances is having a set budget having an understanding, being on the same page, working towards the same goals. And it's really fun at the end of the month, then you're like, ooh, we have money. You know, sometimes it's like, okay, just keep it for the next month. Yeah. But sometimes it's like, ooh, we have some money in the budget. So like with our month anniversary, for example, if we decide we're not gonna use as much this month, then the next month we have a little bit more, we can decide to do something a little bit bigger. If we know we have an anniversary coming up, which we do in a couple months, it's kind of a built in um, savings account that way if you just spend a little bit less each month. So envelopes, the mobile app, allows you to move money around between the envelopes, between the categories. Some people would probably frown on that, but we like to make the budget work for us, not be a slave to it, so to speak. So we have a miscellaneous fund, which we put, it's like our slush fund, essentially, every month. I mean, you're never going to be able to plan out exactly how your life's going to go every month. There's always going to be something. So we have the miscellaneous fund, which kind of can go for any category or anything that comes up. We also are kind of flexible on our grocery budget. If we have a lot left over, we might use it to go out to eat. We might go on an extra date night if we haven't done anything else for recreation that month for the recreation category. Really, the goal is to try to make your budget work the best for you, for your lifestyle. So I guess you could say that we actually kind of have fun budgeting, sets a structure in place, frees things up, and helps us to be working toward a goal and actually make progress. And it's also a way of simplifying your life, honestly. We also do have an, emer an emergency fund, or a God only knows fund, it's called different things, that we just, we don't touch, except for emergencies. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't think we've had to touch it. No. Like Dave Ramsey says, it's kind of like Murphy repellent. Mm -hmm. Once you build it up and it's there, it doesn't tend to go away as quickly. When you're in the process of building it up, things do tend to come up a little bit more, and it feels very frustrating. It feels like you're just never going to get there. But once you have it built up, then it, it goes a lot better, I would have to yes. say. The recommended amount for an emergency fund is three to six months expenses. And that's basically, I guess, what we have, I think. We've been debt-free actually now for over 10 years. <laughs> wow. And through that time, we also saved up to purchase our very small, modest, old trailer house abode. While it is not glamorous, it does allow us to travel yeah. a lot more. Yeah. So we would welcome any questions that you might have about budgeting, about the systems that we use. If you'd be interested in us doing more videos about like the tools that we use, for example, or anything, we'd be happy to do that. Or if you have an app that you want to recommend to us. Yeah, or to if you have any else. suggestions. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know what you think in the, in the comments below. Stay clever. Yeah, I think, at least for me, it was an eye-opening experience. <laughs> I don't know it's what else. Profound. <laughs> it was it was eye opening. Eye opening experience. Changed the way we look at life.